Well, welcome to the April Getting to Know Your Indiana Neighbor. And uh, this neighbor isn't exactly a native neighbor. Hoosier. Um, and he won't be a neighbor much longer. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, he's a priest, of course, the father of the parish at the parish of St. Peter's in Montgomery, the pastor. And, and Father, before I mention your name, okay, I want to play a little name game okay. because your name is a little bit difficult to pronounce for most of us. Is that oh, fair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you have parishioners who know how to say your name? Usually kids find it much easier to say my name rather than adults. The kids do. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, let me take a shot at it, okay? <laughs> I guess I wrote it down. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, it is, it's uh, something like... Uh, Sudhakar Bastiti? Yeah, yeah, Sudhakar Bastati. Yeah, you got Bastati? it. Bastati? Okay, yeah, Bastati. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. all right. Now, yeah, now, we've never met, yeah. uh, Father yeah. and I, but uh, a few uh, parishioners have come to me and said, you know, it would be great if I could sit down with Father and do an Indiana neighbor. Uh, that way they would know more about uh, their parish uh, pastor, but also as he leaves, It'll be out there. It'll be a great way for them to remember you, Bob. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we've never met, so there could be some humiliation coming my way, but that's fine. Mm. But how would you pronounce my name? Greg Bateman. Okay, very good. Very. Good. The reason I say that is it doesn't matter. If I go to a hotel or, or what have you, and they're looking at a computer, it's always Batman. Oh, okay. Greg Batman. Batman. Okay. Batman okay. So, so Bateman, very good. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Father, welcome. Welcome. They call, him, they call him the smiling priest, oh. by the way. Did you know? You knew that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew, I knew. Uh, They say he always smiles. And I'm just going on what people tell me, folks. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and what people have told me about this fairly young man is that he makes an impact in their lives in ways that you can never imagine. Because you can imagine there's a language barrier. Uh, and we'll try to work through that. I hope, I hope I'm okay with that. Sure. But, but the people tell me, because I'm not a parish uh, I'm not a member of the parish at St. Peter's, but they just tell me he has a way um, to impact and influence people in a positive way. So I I'm sure that people have told you that in yeah. some sense, but you have to be proud of that, right? Yeah. yeah. We're going to find out about his journey. It's a long journey, but let's start, Father, kind of with the beginning. Let let's go back. Tell me where your homeland is. Uh, a little bit about your parents. Let's start with that. So, actually, my father was uh, not Christian. Okay. But when there was an engagement between my parents, so here it is, uh, dating, love, marriages. But back in India, <laughs> arranged marriages. Arranged so marriages. Arranged okay. marriages, uh, yeah. Always? I, always? Even today? Today, in the sense, uh, in the bigger cities, and some people do fall in love and uh, mm -hmm. they get married. Okay. But traditionally, it's always uh, arranged marriages. So in Indi India, India, right? In India. Let's, yeah, most let, let's, let's, let's hone in on that a little bit. <laughs> so arranged marriages. So yeah. you're not just meeting a stranger and marrying them. It's, it's family members who are arranging? Family members okay. come together. And how did that happen with your parents? So usually what happens in the sense, so usually first uh, if, uh, if a girl or a boy of uh, ma age of marriage, 19, 20 plus something mm -hmm. like that. And so parents will be looking for a boy and girl within rela relation, within the relatives, otherwise uh, among the known people, friends. And uh, if you don't find any boy, boy or girl in that circle, then uh, they pass on a word to friends and, uh, and uh, the relatives. So hey, my, my son is ready for marriage, or my daughter is ready for mm -hmm. marriage. And so if there is uh, any good person, any good girl, or any good boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, please let us know. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. So, 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 you, so you don't get on the internet to yeah, look for people. Yeah, you don't people. get on the internet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dating and so on, yeah, that's not there. <laughs> yeah. but, but even today, that, that's yeah, a common practice. Yeah, even today, that's the most common practice. Very good. But actually, people living in cities and so on, these days and mm -hmm. so on, because people are getting educated and uh, they are in advance with mm -hmm. the technology and other things and so on. And so these days, yeah, we do find people falling in love mm -hmm. and uh, getting married. Okay. But since we are speaking of my parents and yeah. back in the years and <laughs> mm -hmm. when all this technology was not there and I'm still from village and my parents also were born and raised in the village. Mm -hmm. And so at the time of engagement between my parents, at the time my father was not Christian, but my mom was a strong Catholic. 
Okay. And so she said, yeah, if you want to marry me, yeah, you better be mm -hmm. <laughs> Catholic. <laughs> and so my father converted into mm -hmm. Christianity. Yeah. So, so were they were they in love? I, it's an arranged marriage, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. but he was in love with her enough to marry her to become Catholic, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And what did they do for yeah. a living? What, what did yeah. they do? So actually, farming. 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 Yeah, yeah, farming. But uh, we don't have uh, much land as the people up here yeah. have. Yeah. So we do have very little land. Mm -hmm. And so my father always did for me. What, what, even, what was the village that you came from? The name? Mudane Pali. Pali? Yeah, yeah. Mudane Pali. And, and how large would that have been as far as... Could you compare it to a Montgomery yeah, or a Lagodi yeah, or bigger? Probably about uh, 300 families. 300 families? About 300 families and so on. Okay. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody knows everybody. <laughs> it's kind <laughs> of like here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah so, so, so your parents were married in, into farming. Um, what did they farm? Rice. Rice, okay. Yeah, yeah. rice and so on. Mm -hmm. So we do have two crops. Okay. So first crop usually starts uh, in the beginning of July because in month of June it starts, monsoon season starts mm -hmm. raining and so on. Then they, they prepare the land and so probably by beginning of July and so on and they do the plantation. Mm -hmm. And then the second crop is depending on how much rain that uh, we have received and how much water government is able to reserve. And then depending on the amount of the water government is reserving in the reservoirs and for how much land it is going to supply for the second crop. So second crop is depending on that. Mm -hmm. But okay. first crop and so on, we don't have to depend on anybody yeah. and so on because yeah. <laughs> depend on God and right. God sends rain and right. so that's enough. <laughs> what was it a good living uh, that your parents made relative to other people or were you, did you consider yourself poor? Did you consider yourself rich? Yeah. How did you consider your family? So for me and son, poor, uh, poor and rich, because in the, in the village and everybody is same and so on, and so we don't have much variation mm -hmm. uh, yeah. among us and so on, and mostly mm -hmm. we all of us farmers and daily laborers and so on. Mm -hmm. But uh, myself, I never got to experience all that farming and so on, because probably my parents uh, having been into that, and uh, so they didn't want me to go through all that. And uh, my parents always uh, wanted us to have some studies. And my brothers uh, all uh, probably they studied up to 8th grade, ninth grade, something like that. And only myself completed. For, for us back in India, graduation means 10th grade. 10th grade? But here it is 12th grade. Right, right. So back in India, graduation means 10th grade. Mm -hmm. were, were there plenty of schools or did you have to so travel in my village, very far? In my village, there is only one school that is 1st grade to 5th grade. And then uh, from... Uh, 6th to 10th, I need to go to nearby small town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Small town and it's probably three miles distance. Yeah. And we used to go by walk. You walked about how many miles? <laughs> yeah, about three miles. Three miles yeah. there, three miles back. Back, uh, six miles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not it, only myself and son, and uh, of my age group in my village, and we all together used to walk. Yeah. You mentioned your siblings. How many siblings do you have? Three brothers and two sisters. How many brothers? Three. Three yeah. brothers, two sisters, two so sisters. Five, five siblings. Yeah, five. Um, are they still all with us? Oh, yeah. One of my brother passed away. He did. So probably I was uh, sixth grade. Mm -hmm. so well, what, what about your father and your mother? Are they still living? So my father passed away 2015, okay. January 24th. And uh, my mother is there. She's what? She's, yeah, she's, she's still, yeah, okay. She's, yeah. how, how, much how, how much can you communicate with your mother uh, obviously, we have the amenities over here, but uh, where she is in the village, is there internet service? Is, is there cell service that you can talk yeah, to her? Yeah, yeah, cell phone service yeah. and so on. So not very much internet and so on, but cell phones and so I mm -hmm. call on phone and I do video call with mm -hmm. my mom. Okay. So last time when, okay. I, when I went to India, 2022, I went to India and I took your phone, iPhone. You did, <laughs> and yeah. And then I taught her. You just taught her? <laughs> I taught her. Because it's still not common over there? Yeah, yeah. IPhone, in, in the village. iPhones and so on, the iPhones are there and so on, but it's uh -huh. expensive. No? Yeah, expensive. It's expensive uh -huh. for Indian mind, for my family mind and so on, mm -hmm. it's, it's expensive and so on. Yeah. And so they, they're having some other phones and Indian phones and so on. And yeah. So I took iPhone and then 
my nieces and nephews and I, I told that my nieces and nieces and nephews are there and they are they are good with the technology and mm -hmm. so no, no. where did you fall in the siblings were you in the middle I'm the baby you're the baby yeah I'm the baby okay I'm the, I'm the mommy's boy <laughs> so so you're the mommy's boy okay yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, silly question but it, yeah, it has problem. to be tough to be away from home that far yeah uh, e even a, an adult age yeah uh, for somebody who's a mama's boy. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be difficult, doesn't it? Yeah, it was, it was difficult. Eh? So, but then in the beginning, and so I used to find it difficult. I had 10 years of seminary formation. 10 years. 10 years of what? Seminary formation. Seminary, got gotcha. you. 10 years of seminary formation. And during those 10 years, I was away with, uh, from my family. You were away then? Okay. I, those, those 10 years. And so okay. Because we used to have vacation at the most for Christmas about a week mm -hmm. and then the summer break would be one month mm -hmm. and apart from those two occasions I had been I had been away from my family and so on. okay and so that uh, gave me some ground right just to be away from mm -hmm. independent my family, yeah. independent and so on. And are, are your so other siblings still in India back in India and mm -hmm. so back in India and so my, my, my brothers they live with my mom but my two sisters, they live with their husband of, mm -hmm. of, of their place. Okay. Is, is your mother uh, of pretty good health yeah, still? She, yeah, she, she has, can get around? Yeah, yeah. she has uh, BP and, uh, and uh, she's diabetes. Okay. She has BP. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Apart from that, yeah, she's very good. Okay, very good. Yeah. What sort of amenities did you have growing up or didn't have when we talk about running water, when we talk about electricity? Uh, those type of things. What, what did you have? Growing up, we did not have running water. You didn't have any water? Any running water? <laughs> running water. No, no running water. And, so on. and usually for a village, there will be a pond. Mm -hmm. So here we have fish pond. Right. Here, no? So usually people do have fish pond. But there and so on, for the entire village, there would be a pond, a lake, a small lake. Mm -hmm. And then practically everyone living in that village have to go to that pond and fetch water. Was and for little... drinking water? It's a cistern for the entire village, only one. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Everybody have to get, uh, for drinking water, people need to go to that uh, cistern, well, mm -hmm. well. And uh, people, those who get water from the well, should not be using for uh, the domestic use. Mm -hmm. For the domestic use, and so they should get water from pond. And myself also being a baby, I used to carry water. Balancing a stick on my shoulder, <laughs> one pot front and another pot back. <laughs> I used to carry water like that. <laughs> you don't have any pictures of that, do you? Yeah, I no, no. I didn't, I didn't think so. so. Was that difficult? Uh, yeah, it was difficult. It was difficult. <laughs> yeah. Did you spill a little bit occasionally? Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I do spill. It. And it's more, precious water. More, more than more than spilling and so on. I, I used to dislike my my. My, my, my siblings, especially my sisters and my sister-in-laws and so because they used to, they used to make me to carry the water and uh, mm -hmm. they used to use more water at home and I used to carry water and uh, okay. those, those were also some of the reasons that mm -hmm. I want to study and I don't want to be there. Yeah, you, you want to go where there's <laughs> water. I want, yeah, yeah, I want to study. Okay. What, what about uh, no electricity? Yeah, yeah. Right? No, no electricity, electricity yeah. and so No electricity and, uh, and practically in the sense uh, coming here and so I just see everything as a blessing. Everything is a blessing, but but here and soon practically every 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 child, every individual have their own room, privacy. But for me, growing as uh, we we don't no. all the living room. Yeah. <laughs> all my siblings, we put the mat down and we just sleep together. <laughs> and, and that's the way everybody did it. Yeah, that's the way. Right. <laughs> so this was a, yeah. this this was a house. Yeah, a house. Um, was it a house that your your family built, or yeah, yeah, it yeah, was? My family built. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah my family built. Okay. Uh, did Did you have any natural disasters that caused so, any damage so to? So usually cyclones. We call cyclones? it cyclones and mm -hmm. so on. And so there would be rain for three four days, and the wind and all that, and mm -hmm. so flooding will flooding would be there, and mm -hmm. in those occasions and so on, it would be very difficult to go around. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those that that time and so on, and usually government will be providing some facilities, move the people to better facilities and mm -hmm. provide food and all the necessities and so. On. Yeah. Now those occasions were there. Yeah. When you go back there today, is there electricity? Is there running water? So actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now and so on, we do have different house and where we have running water and we have electricity. Even though electricity, we don't have 24 into 7, but usually there will be power cut. Oh, okay. Because the government is not able to supply electricity 24 into 7. And so there will be some particular hours that the government cut the power. Mm -hmm. so Even today? Even today, yes. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. 
Uh, when, at what point in your life, Father, did you become faithful? Did you, uh, by the way, let me ask you this yeah, yeah. before I go there. Yeah. You said that your mother was a devout Catholic. Yeah, yeah. Is that common in, in India? In India, it is uh, common in the sense, uh, yeah. Yeah, being devoted devote, devote to God and uh, faithful to God, it's very mm -hmm. common in the sense. Huh? So what I find is that uh, usually as, as you spoke, for me, for me in the sense, uh, as long as I have a family to love and care, that's all enough. I, mm -hmm. don't, do, I don't think in the terms of material things and so on. But then probably in India, majority of India, most of them are poor. And whenever they have some problems or anything and so on, the first person they turn to is God. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you said, so you, you said you, you never, you never think of material. You never thought of material items. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. You know how it is here. Yeah. You've got to have those best pair of shoes. <laughs> You've got to have the iPhone. You've got to have the Fitbit. You've got to have all these technology. Yeah, yeah. But, I, I, but I you have, never dreamed of anything like that. Yeah, yeah. I have not dreamed of anything like that and so on. But, but probably it's uh, being a priest and uh, it's more of maturity and uh, sure. so being in that spiritual mm -hmm. aspect and so on. But now and so on, I put on a shoe and I insure and I have a car and I have everything and so on. Yeah. I just look them as a, as a blessing and so on. And, yeah. and nothing of all those things are of my own, but all yeah. of the generosity of, of the people and so on. Do you, do you think sometime yeah. today, sometimes, yeah. that that's a better life than, than the life surrounds us today? So actually here, the life is very royal. For me, it's, the life is very royal. So the rectory where I live and so on, and I don't think that I will be ever able to live in such a big house when I go away from here. Mm -hmm. Probably sometime in July I will be going back to India and I will never be able to live in such a big house. I have car of my own. <laughs> you know, yeah. everything, everything that I have, I, I, I just give glory to God and thanks to the people, those who have been generous towards mm -hmm. me and so on. Even though I am working here, but I am part of a missionary society. My salary goes to my society. Okay. I get maintenance. Okay. I get maintenance. But okay. everything that I have, I have some people, they give me, they take care of me. Right, right. They take care of me. Okay. So that's, that's, that. so that's the reason I say it's all, it's all a blessing. It's all yeah. a blessing and so on, and a blessing from God and, uh, and generosity of the people. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So whatever you go back to, it's a blessing. Right. So, yeah, in the sense I'm going back, I'm going back uh, in the sense, uh, as I said, uh, I belong to a missionary society. I want to abide by the rules and regulations of the society. Okay. The missionary society. Missionary mm -hmm. society. And mm -hmm. then they have given me here on a contract for 10 years. Okay. I came here 2014 and 2024. I'm completing my contract for 10 years. Okay. So I want to respect the rules and regulations mm -hmm. of, of the society. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I want to spend some valuable time with my family. Right. Yeah, and especially as your mother becomes. Especially my yeah. mother and son. Yeah. So because of those reasons, so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going back. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that a little yeah, bit sure. more yeah. a little yeah. bit later. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I want to go down the path of yeah. when, you, when you first felt. About what age <laughs> did you feel that... Uh, you, you want to be a man of God. You man want God. to yeah, yeah. serve yeah, yeah. the Lord. What, what? So actually, so here and so on, in the sense it might be a little difficult to, for us to understand here. Okay. Because as I have already said, uh, the, uh, spoke of the marriage, arranged marriages. Mm -hmm. So my parents, especially my mom, being very strong Catholic, my house is just right across the church. Your home is right across church, the church. Right across the church. All right. So, so mom's yeah, going to make you go, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. As we as we are sitting here, there is no much gap also. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So you don't have a choice. My house, yeah. my house the road, mm -hmm. and the church. Yeah. No much gap at all. You yeah. Know? No much gap at all. And so practically, the church keys would be with my family. Okay. My mom practically every day open the church. Oh, okay. Clean the church before people yeah. come. So the church <laughs> was the church. part of your life. Yeah, part of my yeah. life. Part of my life. And my mom never let me watch television the day I did not go to church. Okay. So if you if you watched television, you didn't yeah. go to church. Yeah, yeah. I okay. don't. Did my mom used to tell me, if you are going to church only, you are allowed to watch television. The okay. day you are not going to church, you are not going to watch television. Not only you, mm -hmm. neither your siblings also. <laughs> okay. 
And because of that reason, my sister, my my brothers and sisters, they used to push me to church. Yeah, yeah because, <laughs> because they because also don't get to watch television. <laughs> oh, if if you didn't go to church, they didn't watch television. Yeah, they Even if they went to church. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. But well, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, they're going to push you over there. Yeah, yeah. So my mom, being a strong Catholic and son, she wanted one priest and one one nun from my family. She did. She wanted a priest and a nun in the family. Priest and a nun in my family. And yes. you were the priest. <laughs> and I am the priest. And actually, my my mom never uh, never uh, expected me to become a priest. Oh, okay. Because me being the baby in my family, my mom tried with my brothers, my three brothers, mm -hmm. but uh, none of them uh, succeeded in uh, education, studying, and so okay. they left. Uh, they left to studying probably at uh, sixth grade or fifth grade or seventh mm -hmm. grade, and my sisters reached up to ninth grade. Mm -hmm. And none of them succeeded to enter into seminary or a convent mm. for my sisters. They should graduate. Yeah. And yeah. they didn't. And even though my brothers and my sisters were, uh, were in a school supported by, uh, supported by priests and nuns and supported by some, uh, some agencies either in Europe and, or, or America, and, uh, but uh, my, my, my siblings never succeeded, never graduated. So there was never a nun yeah, yeah. in the family? Yeah, no, my, my niece. Your niece is a nun? My niece is a nun. <laughs> in among, it? among my siblings and myself. Okay. Okay. It, because it, it, my mama, having seen how my brothers have fell apart, right. fell apart in education, in spirituality, mm -hmm. and she didn't want the same thing to happen to me. Okay. And so she was, she was very strong on me. Okay. <laughs> she learned lessons from my brothers and the sisters, mm -hmm. and she was very strong on me. <laughs> did, did you resist that, or were you no. fine with that? No, no, no. Usually, 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 in our context, in our context, once parents say something, that's fine. Okay. Once the parents say whatever the parents say goes. That's final. <laughs> that's When's the last time you heard it. that? <laughs> that's it. That's final. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So, so, so it wasn't so much your choice. Yeah. yeah. It was your parents' choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My okay. parents. And so my parents. And so when I, when I graduated, uh, when I graduated, and my mom took me to my pastor, my pastor, and so I went to send my son to <laughs> seminary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, then and, it, and where was the seminary? Seminary is back in India. India. Back okay. in India, probably three plus hours. Okay. Traveling distance in bus. Right. Bus and so on, because uh, even now we don't have a car or mm -hmm. anything and so on at, yeah. at my home and so on. And so she took me to Paris priest, pastor, and uh, he spoke with uh, superiors of uh, the congregation. He wrote a letter mm -hmm. and I was sent there and uh, so they had some interview with me. Yeah. <laughs> and then they qualified me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I went there. <laughs> and, and you were fine with that? I was fine with that. Mm -hmm. eh? Yeah. I was fine with that. Then after three years, after three years of my seminary formation, during the philosophy, where I was studying about the lives of the saints, lives of the saints, how most of these saints were sinners, and how they changed. And the one powerful concept is that everything that we see around is perishable. Only God is permanent. Yeah. Right. Even we die. Right. We, we are from God and we return to God. Mm -hmm. God is permanent. Mm -hmm. So that is the, one of the powerful concepts that changed most of these saints. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leaving everything that they had. Okay. And uh, clinging to God. Yeah. So, so, even though, are, yeah. so even though it wasn't your choice, yeah, yeah. that was the point yeah, yeah. when you became very serious. Yeah, very serious about yeah. that. Very serious okay. about that. At what age were you? So at the time I would be... 21. 21. You're an adult. Okay. 21. All right. Yeah. Um, did your mother ever envision you coming over to America to be a priest? Never. No. Never. W was, never. That, was that common at all uh, for those who went through the seminary? So, common at all in the sense, I will tell you the, another story also in the okay. sense. Uh, myself uh, in the, went through 10 years of seminary formation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the all, all over there in India? Back in India. Okay. So before becoming a priest, mm -hmm. 10 years of formation. 10 years, okay. And so during these 10 years of formation, there is a family that supported me for my seminary formation. And then uh, since I'm part of missionary society, the motto of the missionary society is sending the priest wherever there is a need. Mm -hmm. okay. So it was my superiors who made a decision on me to yeah. come here. 
it's not me. <laughs> so when you when you heard that, when, when you yeah. heard your superior say there was a need, yeah, in the United States, in the United States, yeah, in Southern Indiana, yeah, what were your thoughts? Actually, by the time and so I know in the sense of watching the news and this, so America is <laughs> first world country and the Europe and America and right. so on and yeah. and then. Uh, uh, and then I know, I know in the sense, uh, even uh, growing as a child, uh, we used to get a lot of support from America and Europe. Okay. A lot of support for our mm -hmm. uh, daily needs and so on. We used to get a mm -hmm. lot of support and so on. And we know. And I was, I was happy only. Mm -hmm. And I was happy only to come. But then my superiors came. I was happy only to come. Yeah. yeah. But did you know that you were going to rural no. Indiana? I know that uh, I was going to come to U.S. Okay. Which part of the U.S., yeah. what it is going to be there? In New York, I'm Chicago, really Los Angeles, Miami. Yeah, yeah, U.S. is very big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, the India is thickly populated, but geographically, United States is much bigger than India. Mm -hmm. U.S. is very big. All that I know, all that I knew at the time was coming to U.S., that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which part of the U.S., <laughs> which, of course, diocese I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but which part of the U.S., which mm -hmm. state also, yeah. At that point, did you ever have a winter coat? I didn't. You did? I didn't. You did not. I did not have intercode. No, I didn't. I didn't think so. <laughs> I did not have intercode. You'd never seen snow before. I never saw. Yeah, I never yeah. saw snow. <laughs> You'd never ridden in an airplane before. Is that never, right? Yeah, never flew okay. in an airplane. So, so I mean, this 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 is all thrown at you. Oh yeah. But you're doing it because you trust your superiors. My superiors, yeah. And and this is where they feel the need is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, being in the seminary formation, uh, one thing they always uh, taught us repeatedly taught us is bloom where you are planted. Bloom where you are planted. Where you are planted. Bloom where you are planted. Bloom where, where you are planted. Yeah. All through our seminary formation, oftentimes they used mm -hmm. to tell us, bloom where yeah. you are planted. No matter the weather, no matter the circumstances, yeah, yeah. bloom where you are planted. Bloom, bloom where you are yeah. planted. Wherever you are, there will be some things. Yeah. There will be some things, some difficult things, and something that you don't like. Mm -hmm. But uh, beyond all that, beyond all yeah. that, striving, growing, and uh, making effect mm -hmm. on people is uh, important. Was part of that seminary process, the 10 years, uh, learning English as a language or learning other languages? So, yeah, yeah. I, actually, actually, from a fifth grade onwards, so English was taught. English was taught in school? From fifth mm -hmm. grade onwards. But English was third language. My native language and then the national language, second mm -hmm. language, and English being the what world, uh, world international language? Mm -hmm. That's the third language, but uh, we never used it. Mm -hmm. Only, only in the school. Yeah, yeah. Only in the school. Here also, you see. Same sometime, here. Sometimes our people take Spanish. Yes. Or, yeah. I was or German or other things and so on. Only as part of uh, curriculum or school education, we take it. And uh, yeah. so once we are uh, done with those credits, and right. uh, when one, mm -hmm. once we come home and so on, we still can't do English. Yeah. So also back in India, and so once we get back to home, and we still can't do native language. Yeah. But in seminary also, seminary also practically all the classes were given in English. Even though it was given in English and so on, but actually we did not uh, pick up so much on, so much on. And myself also, I did my dissertation and my paperwork all in English, mm -hmm. all in English. But then, but then, you know, being surrounded with uh, the people of uh, my, my, my native people and right. we tend to speak native language. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> than <right>. English. <laughs> than English, no? And uh, so, actually, after coming here only, I, I, I improved a lot. Mm -hmm. I, um, so, when you came here, where was your first assignment? My first assignment was in Gibson County, Hopstadt. Hopstadt, Gibson County. Yeah, yeah. Nice German community. <laughs> oh, nice German community, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and, and you and you had some trouble speaking English. Yeah. Uh, were you assigned as a priest? Were you an associate pastor? I was associate pastor. Associate and pastor. even before coming to Hampstead and so on, I was at Rockport for for one month. Where? Rockport, Rockport Indiana. Rockport, okay. Rockport, Indiana. One month. Mm -hmm. One one month of June, I was there, and then by the beginning of July, so I came to Hampstead. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Father Tony Ernest. Was the Tony priest at the, at the time okay. and so on, and still mm -hmm. he is my best friend and mentor. And uh, so for anything, uh, go go to person yeah. his father Tony. And <laughs> is he so, still? Is he in Hampstead? Yeah. No, he is not in Hampstead, and he is in Vincennes. Vincennes. Okay. Vincent's. Okay. And so I was there, and so on. even yeah. though even though I, I showed interest to come to United States, uh, mm -hmm. but then when I came here and so on, it was very difficult for me. Very difficult for me in the sense I am people's person. I would like to see people around. Yeah. I would like to see houses. 
houses around and people around and I'm, I'm people's person. Yeah. Uh, because back in India, all, every time people, there is no privacy, word okay. privacy. Well, after coming here only, I know what is the meaning of privacy. Mm -hmm. Back in India, privacy is completely away. Huh. <laughs> completely yeah. away. Always people around. Always people around. And so, mm -hmm. and so after coming here and so on, I, I really felt difficult. Even though people were around and so on, but for me to be planted, even though Bloomberg you were planted was part of my life and I was taught. Eh? Mm -hmm. But actually when it came to practice and so on, it was very difficult for me. Probably eating the food and just uh, being around here mm -hmm. and in the culture. and It was very difficult. But uh, I'm so grateful to Father Tony in the sense, uh, he used to take me around wherever he went, just like his shadow. <laughs> I used to be just around and, and Father Tony used to introduce me to other people and he's my Indian priest brother. Yeah, Indian priest brother. Indian priest yeah. brother. That yeah. is the way he used to introduce yeah. me to people and so on. And, uh, mm -hmm. So that gave me that, uh, that uh, a feeling, a, a good feeling and yeah. so on. And he used to take me around and even when uh, the times that he used to go to his home and uh, I was I was with him, mm -hmm. and his uh, mum used to tell me, and so this is your room, and so you feel at home. This is your house. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you feel at home, and that is the way they treated, and, and even Hamstad also. The community is very lively, and so on, and so practically weekends uh, programs will be there, and probably watching a game and having a beer, and yeah. just mm -hmm. community is, is very lively. Mm -hmm. So that is the way I was. I got used. I got used. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it was it was difficult for me too. Did, did you feel well received by the people of Hopstadt because, oh, yeah. again, yeah. you're different than we are yeah, in yeah, the sense yeah. of how you talk, yeah, yeah. Uh, how we listen, um, oh, yeah. but, but did you feel right away that there was a connection with the people? So, so that's, that's another blessing of being a priest and so, being a priest and, ha and having Father Tony and as I said uh, uh, that he used to take me around wherever he went, mm -hmm. even when he went to his home also he used to take me and, mm -hmm. uh, and so I, I, felt, I felt welcomed. Yeah, I mm -hmm. felt welcome even, even though I was uh, the only black person, mm -hmm. <laughs> only black person yeah. there and so on at that time. And <laughs> yeah. Did was there yeah. language barrier? Did you feel like they had difficult understanding you, or you understanding them? So actually, for me also, it was difficult to understand understand the people of yeah, and so the Southern that's, Indiana, that's, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the first time and so on, and they're getting this into the people mm -hmm. and so, some expressions and yeah. uh, some slang. Yes, yeah, sl <laughs> slang, slang, slang. Yeah, we don't use slang. Words, some slang words <laughs> and so on. And <laughs> I, I can't even imagine. I, I mean, I just can't. Uh, the slang that we use yeah. or, or, or the phrases that we use yeah, yeah. have to be, yeah. well, I'll use crazy to people, but yet, yeah. if you hear crazy, it's a whole other thing. Whole other thing, yeah. No, no yeah, in the sense, uh, myself back in India, I was taught uh, British English. British English? Yeah, yeah, because the British were uh, ruling India for about 200 years. Right. So British English and so. Mm -hmm. And so, so after coming here and so on, and uh, from the British accent, to American accent, accent, mm -hmm. Indian accent, the variation. Yeah. And even though I was not British English, I was not uh, in the sense I, I was not very much into the language English. Mm -hmm. In the sense, mastered talking English and so. Just yeah. of course talking. <laughs> right. Just talking right. and so. And so I have that language barrier and so. And I'm sure people also struggle to understand me. I appreciate people, <laughs> yeah. in spite of me not uh, uh, being able to communicate, but still mm -hmm. they were patient with me and uh, yeah. they showed their kindness and love towards me and so yeah. I'm happy about it. Yeah, um, so you were, when did you become uh, the pastor at uh, Gibson? So actually in Gibson County, I yeah. was associate pastor. Mm -hmm. Father Tony Ernest was You, the you were always the associate pastor I there? I was associate pastor. Okay. Two years I was there, I was associate pastor. You were just there two years? Two years, yeah. Okay. But that was a very good thing and so on for me to learn mm -hmm. the administration and the other aspects and so on, and the, so the culture mm -hmm. and the, all that and so on. And so mm -hmm. that, that, that was very good ground and Father Tony being a very good person and so on. And yeah. so, so then there became a need in Montgomery, Indiana. No, actually from there, I went to the west side of Evansville, St. Phillips. St. Phillips, okay. Yeah, yeah, Posey County, and, yep. then, uh, and then Corpus Christi, Juan Robert County. Okay. I was also for two years associate pastor. Okay. And then afterwards, I came to Holy Redeemer, north side of Evansville. I mm -hmm. was also their associate pastor. All right. Five years of being associate pastor, yeah. made me a ground to be an administrator here in uh, mm -hmm. St. Peter's, Montgomery. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But you know, I needed the, I needed those five years of being associate yeah. pastor, just to know the administration and then the other aspects of yeah. being a pastor and responsibilities. So now you come to Montgomery, Indiana. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and it's your parish now, right? It's your parish. <laughs> 
<laughs> did, yeah. were, were, you, were you worried about that? <laughs> I was not actually worried about no? all that one and so on. Yeah. yeah, because the, the other thing is that, uh, so being part of diocese and uh, having that uh, priest brothers, mm -hmm. and then the diocese is always there whenever there is a need and the mm -hmm. support. And, and so I'm, I'm not worried. And our bishop is very good and very approachable. Mm -hmm. And so we can talk and so he listens and he mm -hmm. respects our feelings. And, and preach brothers and whenever there is something and so on. And as mm -hmm. I said, Father Tony is always there for me. And mm -hmm. so when I know that uh, we have this much support and this is all uh, faith community, no? Right, right, <laughs> this, right. We are not somewhere in the business world and so on. Yeah. It's the faith community and spiritual right. community and the people are very good. And Father Kinnamakar is here just side by and, mm -hmm. and he used to tell me, hey, I'm here and if there is any need, I know that I'm here. And, and Father mm -hmm. Paul, uh, other side and so on. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> So, and this being the faith community, and people are very good and so on. And yeah. So, so you have support everywhere. Yeah, you yeah, support everywhere and mm -hmm. so on, and the support okay. everywhere. And so, so that's what that's what the most blessing that I feel being a priest wherever I go, parish in the sense it's all spiritual atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It's all a spiritual atmosphere, and so people right. want to be the people after Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that love, that compassion, that caring, and you yeah. know. So, so, so we have that in common. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we're all, we're all looking at the same goal in yeah, the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so what, I, what I've heard about you, Father, yeah. is um, your homilies are special, oh, okay. and uh, not written out, yeah. right? Yeah. right? And uh, I had a conversation this morning, and the person watching this, yeah. uh, because I said, tell me a little bit about Father, because I don't know anything about him. So he told yeah. me a few things, and yeah, he said yeah. that, uh, uh, yep, God has a plan for you. Yeah. You can't change that plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you have a homily on Saturday night that you didn't think went as well, you can change that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must have told the parish that at one time, right? <laughs> you can go to plan B. Plan B, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll tell you that one, I'll tell you. Because, yeah. uh, because uh, so when I'm preaching and so on, that should make sense to me. Uh, right. If that's not making sense to me and making sense mm -hmm. to you, right. it's not sensible. Right. <laughs> you know, first, uh, as, as you said and so on, and God has a plan for everyone and so on. If God right. has created me as a person and God has an assignment to be a priest, mm -hmm. it is it. <laughs> if you're trying to be someone else, we will not be able to succeed. Right. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So, so that's something and so on. And so when it comes to the homilies and so on, and uh, so I just uh, do the readings and, uh, and I just to uh, see what is that people wanted to hear. You know? What is that God wants me to communicate? Mm -hmm. you know? In those uh, two aspects, yeah. I, I just reflect myself. What is that people are hungry to hear from God? What are they going through? What is that they wanted to hear that can console them, that can give them hope, that mm -hmm. can give them inspiration? Yeah, you know, uh, I think in that way. And then the, the second aspect is that what is that God wants me to communicate? Is there any personal story that I can share? Or is there any other story that I can share? Mm -hmm. Saturday I preach. People don't have to tell me. Right. <laughs> I, I look at the people <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and I feel with it myself. And if I'm not happy with the harmony that I preach on Saturday, and no, I change on Sunday. Change it, so. <laughs> I change just, it on just Sunday. Just tweak it a little bit. Yeah, right, tweaking yeah, tweak, it a little bit, and so on. Tweaking it a little bit, and so So, so in the sense, I don't, I don't write it down, and so on, because uh, I want that. Mm -hmm. I, 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 want, I want to want that. I want to become one with. Yeah. I want to become one with. And so the, the other thing is that uh, it's, a, it's a time for me to focus on God, to be engaged on this one. Just to be away from the problem, mm -hmm. right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, so that's the reason I don't write it down, and I, so I just keep thinking until I go to the ambo for preaching. Uh, my my concentration is yeah. <laughs> is on the harmony and what to preach and uh, how to preach, mm -hmm. and so after which thought this is the thought, this is the first thought, this is the second thought, this is the third thought. Yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I, I focus on that one, and so mm -hmm. that way I'm engaged, and my mind is not on something else, and I'm focusing on God, and mm -hmm. so yeah. and so people also complimented me. Mm -hmm. So there were some times and so on, I, I, I wrote it on the paper and I read and so people sure. told me that, uh, Father, <laughs> but when you preach by yourself and uh, without any paper and more so, of a connection, yeah, more of connection yeah. and so on, Th those expressions on the face and those mm -hmm. feelings and, uh, yeah. and all that. So, so has, has there been anything, Father, uh, here in America, here in Southern Indiana, that has challenged you that you never thought you would see a challenge like this? That's uh, that's a really good question. <laughs> Actually, 
I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. Yeah. Are, are, are marriages handled similar to what you were used to? So, so funerals. I mean, yeah, yeah. Not not funerals or the marriages and so on, but uh, but uh, the the rate of divorce. Rate of divorce. Divorce rate and so on. And mm -hmm. So it it was it it was hard for me to to understand. Mm -hmm. But as I said, uh, so in the sense uh, I'm not uh, speaking. Uh, in the, uh, in the in the sense of uh, what the superlative degrees or comparison or anything and so mm -hmm. one being better than the other and so on. it's not in those terms and so on. even though in India mostly arranged marriages and so on problems do come but again families are there to to bring the couples together and uh, mm -hmm. to hear them what they are going can through. you divorce in India in India also people do do people yeah. do have divorce okay. but not among the common people but probably among the rich people okay right. so in India also there are there are divorces and so on. Yeah. And so here, when I hear about the divorce in the sense, its parents are being divorced, and more than the parents, the children, what they go through, mm -hmm. just what they go through, and yeah. so the very the very idea of, in the sense, my parents got divorced, mm -hmm. even to process that one, and and what they go through, yeah. and so on, and that's more 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 on me, yeah. much difficult for me, rather than for me having a challenge, because I I I usually take initiative. Mm -hmm. I, I just reach out to the people, and I'm, I don't meet I, I don't meet a stranger. <laughs> yeah, I just try myself. And uh, but I'm, I'm glad you brought up children because yeah. I'm going to go to the conversation I had again this morning. Yeah, yeah. And, and what he said about you, just just in him listening to you, yeah. is that the children really are the fabric of the church yeah, yeah. because. Yeah. They bring their parents. Yeah, yeah. The parents don't necessarily bring yeah, them yeah, if yeah. they're involved, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the grandparents yeah. and and children, uh, very important to you. Yeah. And very important to Saint Peter's yeah. and any anywhere you go, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because the parishes where I had been before coming here, those being bigger parishes and very lively and the youth ministry and the schools. Mm -hmm. Every parish has a school. Saint uh, Saint Peter and Paul in Hubstadt and. Uh, and uh, St. Philip's and the Carpus Christi and Holy Redeemer and all mm -hmm. these parishes have schools mm -hmm. and uh, I have been, uh, as much as I can, I used to be around the children and the youth ministry program and mm -hmm. so on. And so after coming here also, that is what something I wanted to do. As you said, mm -hmm. the, the children are the fabric, you know, they are the center and they are the, they are the young church. I don't say that they are, they are not the church, they are the young church. And so as you said and so on, and if you are able to bring uh, one child, we are able to bring six people into church mm -hmm. in the sense of the parents of the child and the grandparents from both sides, mm -hmm. six people. Yeah. So that's what before starting youth ministry, in the sense of youth ministry already was there, but then when I wanted to expand the youth ministry, I, I asked Father Tony to give a talk on the importance of the youth ministry. So it was Father Tony who said this one. It's not about the money, <laughs> you know, probably you, for, uh, let's say that uh, for, uh, for one year or for uh, five years, you have invested this much, this much, this much money. But even the, during those five years, if you're able to save one soul, that's enough. Mm -hmm. It's not the amount of money that counts, it's the person being saved, yeah. person being led to God. So that's what it's, it's not about the money, but it's about uh, uh, what leading kids to Jesus Christ yeah. and saving the lives. So that's what important. Mm -hmm. And so now, now we have... Uh, very young girl in our in our parish and so on and the PCL and uh, and uh, and the youth ministry coordinator. She does fantastic job. She connects well with mm -hmm. kids and uh, and her name is Jamie Schneider. Jamie Schneider. Jamie Schneider. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she goes to the level of kids and she connects well with kids mm -hmm. and yeah. And so yeah, she does very good job and so on. I'm very happy mm -hmm. about for the parish and for the girl and. Uh, what's what's the most rewarding part about your job? Most rewarding part of my job is uh, leading people to Christ. Mm -hmm. Leading people to Christ. So that's it. Giving my best, yeah. giving my mm -hmm. all. And even though I want to give my best, my all, but sometimes I fail. Not perfect. Not perfect. Yeah. Not perfect. And sometimes <laughs> at the end of the day, looking back, and uh, uh, there will be moments, uh, some days that I think, oh, I have not given my best. I could have been better. There, there were some days, mm -hmm. some days. I sure. felt, I felt. Yeah. So for me, and so practically at the end of the day, I just try to clear my mind and so what I have done and through the day and so what is good and what didn't go well and 
so I could have done better than this. So mm -hmm. I, I examined myself and so on. Mm -hmm. I examined myself and there were some days and so on that I felt I could have been better, not. Yeah. And what will you miss most when you leave the parish of Montgomery in, in the southern Indiana and head back to India very soon? What, what will you miss most about? Because it'll be completely different. Yeah, it'll right? be completely different. Uh, but will you serve? You, you'll be a priest in India, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah, but, yeah. but what will you miss about uh, your experiences over the past how many years here in Indiana? Indiana, it will be 10th year. 10 years. Yeah, yeah, this is my 10th year. Okay. Oh, that's right, the end of the contract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is yeah, is, is it sad in a way? Yeah, I'm with mixed feelings and so on because, yeah. uh, because there are some families, uh, they treated me, they welcomed me into their families. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes they tell that you're part of my family. Yeah. And, uh, there, are, there are some people, they, they tell you're my son, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're part of my family and, uh, and they show all love and all care. and. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I miss the most. Yeah, but you know, the with, with the technology, even where you're going, yeah. you're going to see those kids who you baptized. Yeah. You're going to see them get married, <laughs> yeah. right? I yeah. mean, there will be the people that you've touched yeah. that will say, yeah. here's our daughter, and today she's getting married. Yeah. And uh, e even today, I'm sure in those 10 years, you've yeah. seen yeah. families grow. Families grow, yeah. And, and uh, yeah. that's going to be a remarkable feeling, how many uh, you've seen grow, oh yeah, oh yeah. in particular in the church. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's correct. And so, so the number of kids that I have baptized, and then uh, I mm -hmm. came in contact. And, uh, yeah. So I don't, I, don't, I don't see more of a specialty with me, but uh, people are very special. Yeah. People are very loving and very mm -hmm. kind, and so they are very generous, and uh, people are great. Yeah, people are great. Right, so people yeah. are great. It's not about me, but people are great. Okay. Uh, so what's next for you? And, and, and the timing. Um, you're at St. Peter's now in Montgomery. Tell me what's the next few months look like for you. Next few months uh, look like for me here in the sense, uh, actually coming weekend, uh, I will be spending at St. Philip's, and uh, so then uh, on 22nd, I will be leaving to India. 22nd of? 22nd of this month. Of April? Of April. And I will be back on uh, May 15th. Okay, so that's not and permanent. So, but, and so, okay. when I go to India, I will come to know what I will be doing back in okay. India when I leave from here. Okay, so that's why you're going for those that's, few weeks. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm going for those Is to weeks. basically train, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah. as to what you're going to be doing. Yeah, what I will, yeah, what I will be doing. And so what do you think you will be doing? So... Actually, I, w I would like to have uh, further studies. I have my master's in theology, mm -hmm. systematic theology, mm -hmm. PhD. Then I would like to do my PhD. Okay. That's one thing on my mind and so on. But I don't think I will be able to start this year because I will be, I will be late. Mm -hmm. But then the next year I would like to. And, and that's something that's a personal goal. That's not, yeah, yeah. that's nothing that the church would, would ask of you. Yeah, I, 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 church would uh, support it, but I would like to study okay. because I want to expand myself. Mm -hmm. I want to stretch myself and broaden my knowledge. Mm -hmm. And so, and having been here 10 years for the parish ministry and uh, going back to India and uh, don't like to continue the same mm -hmm. thing, I would like to have something different. And I have passion for uh, learning new things. And uh, so I would like to have some mm -hmm. education yeah. brought on my mind. So, but you'll be a priest over there. Yeah, I will correct? be a priest. Will it be near your yeah. village, your yeah, home near village? My village? Really? Yeah, yeah, near my village. Yeah, well, that, yeah. That's got to be wonderful. Oh, yeah, yeah. I get to see my family oftentimes. And yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe too often. Yeah, yeah. too often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, too often. Oh. As people would say, no? Yeah. <laughs> so in the sense, uh, someone to love is a family and a place to go is a home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having both is a blessing. And so, yeah. <laughs> so, so May 15th, you come back. For how long before you finally have to say goodbye? So May 15th I will come back and I will be here at St. Peter's uh, until the end of June. Oh, short time. Then, yeah, until the end of June. By end of June I will take off because I need to provide place and, uh, for the pastor who mm -hmm. will be taking after me. Mm -hmm. And so I will be staying with my friends up here and so I have some plans in the month of July. Sometime in July, I will take off to India. I have not had a plan when I will be taking up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, sometime Has there been a, a pastor named here? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Everybody is curious to know. Yeah, that. sure. Many people are asking, yeah. but it's not yet. <laughs> Do you know? I don't no. know yet. <laughs> All right, okay. Just even last Sunday, I'll say, people are asking me, Father, mm -hmm. remember you were in church, you don't say lie. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Hobbies. 
Yeah. I, I know that you've got many. Yeah. Um, you work out a lot. Oh, yeah. You run a lot? Or are you used Actually, to I stopped. I stopped running and sun because uh, because uh, Susan and uh, Susan Ramsey and Clinton, they're a very good couple. They're a wonderful yes. couple. Yes. And, uh, yes. So I enjoy being around them. And uh, so running and sun, I can do anywhere. But I don't get CrossFit. <laughs> You, 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 you do CrossFit. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm doing CrossFit here. Yeah. So once I go back to India, mm -hmm. I would not be able to have CrossFit. Okay. So that's the reason I stopped running and I'm going for CrossFit. As mm -hmm. much classes as I can, mm -hmm. I would like to take it. And all the more, uh, this uh, uh, Greg Trailer and uh, some of the people, they collected money and, uh, mm -hmm. and they paid it for one year. <laughs> yeah. one for, year. For, for you? Yeah, for me. <laughs> so membership for a yeah, year? membership that... for one year. And, uh, why, why did they do that? <laughs> yeah, that's the reason I'm telling people are great. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason I'm telling people are great. <laughs> oh, that is great. That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So they have, paid, they have paid for me for one year and... Uh, and once, uh, one, one day I asked, I asked Susan and because uh, there is protein powder. Mm -hmm, protein so, powder. Yeah, so protein powder, protein powder bars are there and uh, I saw the, uh, the bottle of protein powder and I asked Susan, Susan, I would like to take one bottle and mother, <laughs> take all you want. <laughs> Your parishioner deposited more money here. <laughs> There is enough money for you. Take all you want, she said. Yeah, no, they're, they're great people. And, and yeah, they're, they're great people. And, and, and yeah. finally she said, Father, this, this bottle is on me. You don't have to pay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you did run, yeah. did you run distance? Did you run marathons? Did you run... Actually, not marathons. Half marathons. I ran. Half marathons. Okay. Half marathons I ran. Yeah. So I started this running because even though I stay skinny, my, my doctor told me that uh, you start, please uh, what, uh, start doing uh, workout exercise. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, uh, I will put you on medicine for uh, cholesterol. Cholesterol, yeah. <laughs> well, well, what about, so yeah. what about your diet? It, yeah. it, 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 it's had to have changed a lot yeah. in 10 years, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it will change a lot in the next 10 years next going 10 back years, home. Yeah, yeah. Um, what food will you miss most going back home? Going back home here, uh, Oh, fried chicken? Fried chicken. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Fried chicken. <laughs> you like French fries? Not, not no, actually but... French fries because uh, they're, they're, uh, they're boiled in the oil. Yeah. I don't go with that one. Okay. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Baked, baked potato? Yeah, yeah. I take baked potato. French, yeah. So, uh, so this um, fried chicken. Yeah. And the steak. steak. I like steak. Yeah, yeah. Do you eat pizza? Oh, pizza also. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I eat pizza. Mm -hmm. So usually, usually the sense of the food and so on, I don't follow any diet and so on. Yeah. Having something to eat for me mm -hmm. is, is that, that's, that's enough. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I choose a lot of vegetables and salad. Yeah. And then the meat. I don't eat Indian food through the week. Weekends and so on, and myself and my priest friends, we come together. And so once, they, mm -hmm. once we get together and we eat all Indian food. Mm -hmm. I'm not a cook. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. good cooks. Don't have time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't have time to cook. I yeah. tell them I wash the dishes and yeah. <laughs> I keep you entertained. Yeah. You do the cooking. <laughs> you know, I, I don't think that we realize, yeah. uh, and I'm Catholic as well, yeah. and I don't think we realize how busy yeah. priests are with yeah. all the responsibilities when you think about it. Yeah. Somebody's sick, you get a call, can you come over to comfort? Can you come over for this reason? Yeah. Uh, of course, a funeral, you never know. You yeah. may have three in a week, you may have five, you may have none. Yeah. You may have to go to the hospital and all of these other obligations just in the community. Yeah. Um, ha have you found that sometime it's more of a, th there's more than 24 hours in a day for you that, that you have to have? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Has it been difficult keeping up with a schedule like that? Yeah, there, there, there are some occasions and so on. And actually, I used to enjoy visiting the sick and so on because uh, that's one of the way to connect people. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the way that uh, to tell them that uh, I am there for you, mm -hmm. to give that support. Right. Mm -hmm. But then uh, back in Evansville and so on, either Deaconess or uh, St. Vincent right now. And uh, so when our parish nets are uh, being admitted in the hospitals, uh, they call the parish and they say, your parish nut is in the hospital. And then preach to visit. But here that, that's not there, but probably because of the privacy of the people or something like that. Right. So unless family members or the somebody mm -hmm. parish nets mm -hmm. give me the information, I wouldn't know that. Uh, such and such person is in the hospital. Right. So I, I, I feel that I'm missing that. So in the sense when people are sick and uh, when they need the priest, 
So that, that's part of uh, yeah. what fulfillment to being a priest. So sometimes people may become sick and may yeah. even die, and you yeah. weren't even aware that they yeah, were going yeah, through yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but uh, but but in the sense, uh, so in the sense, uh, that's my identity, being a priest and be there for the people, mm -hmm. and so that that fulfills. Okay. That fulfills, you know, and uh, so that mm -hmm. that gathers all my energy and so on. And I I do take day off on Mondays, mm -hmm. Mondays and so on. I have my day and so oh, I, I this, get. This is Tuesday, so thank you yeah, for making yeah, time yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, will you will you have vacation and come back to America to visit sometime? I'm planning to come every year. Every year. Yeah, yeah. Once okay. a year, even though I go away from here, but. Uh, once a year, mm -hmm. I would like to come here and spend a month mm -hmm. or two months, something like that. And uh, because I have enough friends, and uh, as I said, the people have been right. making me part of their families. Yeah. So. <laughs> what What haven't we talked about, Father? That whether it whether it's no. back in your home country as you were growing up, or whether it's very recent, anything that we haven't talked about that you you want to make sure that we do talk about, so that people will know you. As best they can. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure people know, people know me better because uh, because they see sure. me and so on. And, uh, so, so actually, in the sense, uh, you have covered uh, you have covered most okay. of it and so on, and you have covered most of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what else. That's is fine. Yeah. But but then I'll ask you this. Yeah, yeah. You'll be gone from here in a few months. Yeah. What's the message? you'd like to leave to the parishioners oh, okay. that uh, I, sh I should have prepped you for this. No, 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 no. Right? no, no. Okay. no you no, can do it on the fly. No, no. Yeah, you, you do it. Okay. No, 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 nothing and so on. And so the first thing is that uh, I feel a blessing and so on just uh, being around here and amidst of the people. And uh, so I'm very grateful to the love and the care and the generosity and the kindness that uh, they have showed towards me because I'm, I'm, being from India and so on, and, uh, and being a human, and what I believe is that uh, practically every human being needs a little bit of attention, some care and some love, some patting, some forgiveness, <laughs> because I also make mistakes and so on, and sometimes sure. London and so on, and I right. need that forgiveness and <laughs> mm -hmm. that acceptance and so on, and so people have done their best. Mm -hmm. So otherwise, if people are not, uh, not, uh, not giving me that, that love and that care and that support, uh, it would be hard for me to be happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's <laughs> yeah, it hard for me to be happy. So if I'm happy and I, I'm smiling and so on, I'm, I'm getting what I needed. <laughs> some, att yeah. some attention and some love mm -hmm. and uh, some care and uh, ac ac acknowledgement, yeah. acceptance. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So do, that's do you feel yeah. that every person should come from humble beginnings like yourself? Yeah. And if they come to a place like this, that it's a better path for you because... Like you said, you, you weren't into material things. Yeah, yeah. We are. Yeah. Now, <laughs> always have been since birth. Yeah. But, but do you feel that it's best maybe for someone like yourself to come from humble beginnings and understand that that's the life you grew up with and you were happy even with that? Yeah. yeah. So, so in the sense, it's always depending on the approach of the people how people perceive one's life and so on. Mm -hmm. So for me and so on, back in India, I don't have material things, not much material things, but here I do have some material things and so on. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but as I said, uh, I give all my salary to, to, to my, my congregation and mm -hmm. so they give me the maintenance. But even though, apart from that, uh, people are uh, very generous. Mm -hmm. People are very generous. Whatever I have, whatever I have, whatever I'm enjoying, everything, everything that has been the generosity of, uh, of people. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever I have is nothing of my own. Well, nothing of my own. Starting with my car, yeah. starting with my car, <laughs> that's not mine. That's the generosity of someone. Yeah. <laughs> you know, practically when I was in the Gibson County and so on, it was Father Tony and. Uh, will and you will, you, will you have a car in so, India? So back back in India, and I I don't think so. I no? don't think so. I will be having a car and so on. Yeah. But 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 as I said, but as I said and so on, uh, Bloomberg, you are planted. Yeah. And me being a priest, and I know that uh, I will be sent wherever there is a need, and so on. Yeah. And so it's uh, it's in the sense, uh, as I said, uh, when God has created uh, each one of us, when God has created each one of us, God has a purpose. God has a task. God has a task when He created you. God has a task when He created me, and so on. Mm -hmm. And so to to accomplish that work. God has blessed with uh, some skills and talents, and you know, yeah. and uh, and we need to find that mm -hmm. that what, what is mine. 
So me being a priest, so that's what I feel that yeah. God has given that. Yeah. And even 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 in the journey of accomplishing that work, sometimes we might be losing that that inspiration and that passion. Mm -hmm. Very know? good. That inspiration and that passion. Yeah. And uh, so that's the reason God puts people around us to help so bring it back to help us. Mm -hmm to accomplish the work yeah. that God has given. And so that's the reason what I feel is that uh, everybody those who are around me, everyone I see with my eyes, everyone I hear with my voice, they are there for a reason, to help me, to make me better, to accomplish the work that God has given. And so if I'm able to, first time I'm meeting you, if, if this meeting, if I'm meeting you, because you are needed for me to make a better person, to give some inspiration. Mm -hmm. So that's what I feel. Absolutely. That's what I feel. <laughs> Bloom where you were planted. Bloom where you were planted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you thank so much. You Good so luck. Oh, yeah. And I know, I know your parish members will miss you, and so will I, oh, just yeah. in, our, in our brief meeting. Yeah, actually, actually, I'm with mixed feelings and so and the mixed feelings yeah. and to go back there and so and, and, uh, and then, as I said, uh, if I'm not able to love my mother who gave me birth and raised me mm -hmm. up, and if I say I'm loving someone else up here, yeah. I will be a liar. And, and, and to know that you can come back here. Right? I will come back here. Yeah. I want to come back here. Okay. I will come back here. <laughs> Very good. I will come back here. Right. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you. All right. So that's uh, Father Sudakar Bas Bastati. Yeah. Tari. Yeah. Bastati. Okay. I still think you're right. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, he's an Indiana neighbor, but uh, only for a short time longer. Yeah. And we wish him luck. We wish him well. And we thank you for watching this edition of Getting to Know Your Indiana Neighbor. Mm -hmm.